This year we're celebrating Israel's 61st birthday. The beauty of being 61 is that it's not a special year. When we celebrated Israel's 60th anniversary, we were filled with great visions, and all of us donned our prophetic caps and spoke about the great challenges and the vision and the future of Israel. At 61, as we celebrate Israel's birthday this year, let's set aside our fantasies. And let's get back to basics. Let's not speak about Israel being a light unto the nations. The next 60 years, let's speak about Israel over the next year. This is a year where many, many individuals have suffered financially. This is a year where Israel's security concerns have forced us to go to war and have seriously challenged some of the moral fiber of our country. This is a year where a new government has come into power. And the question of priorities and policies, political conversation, political culture, are all at the fore and center of Israeli public discourse. So when I look and think about what I want from Israel at 61, I don't want us to transform ourselves. At 61, I want us to take a few steps forward. This year, I want us to recreate some of the social safety net that has been lost and make sure that those who are at the lowest level economically in our society are given a little more protection. This is a year where I don't want us to redefine the meaning of Israel. But I want us to look very closely at our morality of war and at the ways in which we teach our soldiers to fight. I want us to look very seriously at the way we speak about the values of democracy, our commitment to democracy, our commitment to pluralism, our commitment to respect people, different Jews and different nationalities, all who live in the state of Israel. This year at 61, I don't think about the Garden of Eden. I don't think about the end of days. I think about Israel as a real country trying to build decency in the midst of the Middle East. So as we, friends of Israel, celebrate this year, let's each one of us find one dimension, one aspect of Israel's being, one aspect of Israel's moral, spiritual, religious, intellectual um, aspirations. And instead of redefining the horizon, take two steps forward. You know, in many ways, almost at 61, I would say, let's do Dayenu backwards. We just finished Pesach. And we say, God, if you would have just done this, that would have been enough. If you had just taken out of Egypt and didn't split the sea, it would have been enough. If you just split the sea, would have been enough. If you just gave us, let us live in the desert, it would have been enough. If you just gave us the Torah and didn't bring us to the land of Israel, it would, be, it would have been enough. At 61, let's find our days. Let's find something that's achievable. And let's say, do you know what? If at this year we just do that, that's enough. And in a process of building a real country, it's not about being angels. It's not about being perfect. It's not about being better than everyone. It's about continuously moving forward in the process of growth. My bracha to Israel, my blessing to Israel today, as we're starting our 61st year, is that we should be able to grow, that we should be able to walk, and that the greatness of a life is judged not necessarily by your achievements, but by your aspirations. Let's have some decent aspirations and some progress this year to fulfilling some of our deepest values as a people. Hugs and